Greetings ladies and gentlefish and welcome to another installment of Chase the Ace um, where I am going hunting for Ace Tanker badges in tanks that I don't yet have it in. In today's video... I do apologise about that. In today's video we have a game here in the Renault Watsu, Japanese tier 1 light tank, again based on the chassis, uh, like many others, of the Renault FT light tank and the second game is going to involve some American tank destroyer action. Sorry about that. So, we are here on mine, the map. And we're oh I'm sorry, Mr. Lol Tractor. Um we're just trying to get into a position to do something about the hill <coughs> in the centre of the map. Now, unlike its uh, Chinese, certainly I can't remember about the French, but unlike its Chinese counterpart, this machine actually gets really woo repaid up really nice gun depression. The gun is rather derpy and unreliable. Does a lot of damage if it hits, but getting it to hit can be a nuisance. Um, but you at least get some gun depression to work with, which is nice. And that's what I'm trying to use to get shots on these fellows, including, for example, that medium one. I might as well take the shot, except I don't, because he was backing off anyway. I should have taken that shot, but not to worry. Hopefully a nice shot into that fellow's turret. There we go. T1 manages to find cover. And the scoreline is currently even at 4-4 as that medium one gets taken down. Now, I noticed that none of our team has taken the uh, other flank, if you will, in the little village. So I am changing flanks to try and get some shots on the guys who emerge from there. Alas, the enemy have pulled back two more kills to make the scoreline 4-6. There's a T1. I'm trying to angle my armour. The armour on these tanks that are based on the French uh, FT is actually pretty good. So I'm trying to angle in order to absorb some shots from those T1s. So, put one shot into that fellow. Oh, I predicted he'd keep moving and he didn't. Another shot into him. He's just bouncing on me and he is no more. So what about his little T1 friend? Well, there's one shot. And there's the second shot for kill number two. So that's both of those T1s dealt with. I think there was another fellow around there as well. And if you look at the enemy T1, whoo, one of them has managed to rack up a top gun. And he is the only guy remaining on his team who actually has any kills. So, it's a medium one around here. Trying to see if anyone else is actually going to shoot this fellow. Flub that shot. He's fired. I appear to bounce. But pick up the kill for kill number three. T1 in the background. That shot misses because that's this gun for you, frankly. There we go. And one or two more shots should polish this guy off. He's not being especially effective until he actually manages to kill my commander, but I managed to take him out for the privilege. So, we've now got um, a trio of tanks over to my left-hand side who've been a little beaten up. And there's a T1 behind me. Oh, God. I'm now on not a fat lot of health at all. Oh, dear. I didn't realise there was yet another one from that direction. That's a problem. And without that health, I'm now going to really struggle to carry this game. And our friendly base is being capped. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so, there's the medium one up there. And it appears I can draw a reasonably nice shot on that medium one. And he's dead. There's that T1 from earlier on. Now I have the graphics set to low, um, and so sometimes the edges of the um, 
rocks don't actually match up with the hitboxes particularly well. One of the reasons I've got that is that um, for a couple of patches, the some of the graphic settings have made my game client crash, and I need to find out which settings it is that's actually done that. So. What I really need to do is kill this T1 and then reset the base. Why do it in that order? Because if I just go and reset the base, this T1's going to plow one into my backside and kill me. So now two plays three, but they have someone in the cap circle and I'm on my own. <coughs> so my plan is to chase down that T1, kill him and hopefully get into the cap circle, although I think I've actually left it a little bit late. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to go to the cap circle as well. It appears this guy has actually pulled back far enough that I might just have been able to go and reset the base, which is probably what I should have done. Kill that T1, pick up a top gun, but I don't think I can get to the base in time to reset. I should perhaps have just gone straight to the base, but as I say, I thought that if I did that, I'd be throwing the game because I expected that T1 to pop out and put a shot into my rear. I didn't expect him to have pulled back as far as he did. There we go. Bad judgment call on my part, I guess. We lose the game, but I have a top gun, so that ends up being courageous resistance, which means I still get my ace tanker. Have a look at the post-battle results, then we'll jump into game number two. Here we go with game number two. We are in the American Tier 3 tank destroyer, the T-82, and you can see that I am using the 57mm gun. I don't really like howitzers. Go figure. Um, we are here on Province. It's a Tier 3 game, which is nice. And you've seen me play Province before now, so you probably have a pretty good idea of what I'm likely to do, except, aha, I'm not doing it. Why am I not doing it? Well, because I'm in a tank destroyer this time. Or at least I'm not doing it initially. I was trying out a couple of different locations. Trying to just vary things up a little bit, really. And I thought someone else could do the spotting for a change. Our steward is apparently quite happy about the missions, giving him a lot of cash. With which he can buy tanks. Good man. Right, Panzer 38T. That shot misses, and someone else kills him. Oh well, never mind. Panzer 3A. Managed to track him. More by luck than judgement. And pick up the kill for kill number one. And this is a bit what this map is like. I mean, you've probably all played it. It's very... Uh, kind of campy. You move and you risk getting completely destroyed unless you know the map well enough to know those locations where you can avoid it. Oh, I take a predictive shot there, but it just misses the guy. Alas. Scoreline is currently two kills to one. And the Panzer II up here, not going to do anything with that gun. Especially that gun. It is the stock gun, I think. And our Sexton's getting rather agitated about people spotting. Oh, calm down, mate. Relax. Ooh, I take a shot there which damages my track. I'm quite lucky that it only damages the track. Um, I'm not sure if I was spotted. My guess would be that it's the enemy marder blind firing that bush because it's a pretty obvious location. I move, then our marder moves. Um, yeah, because getting shot at is a terrible thing, especially when you're in a tank destroyer. So. Stuart and T-46, there's the Stuart, and a medium three. Hit. Just track damage there on the Stuart, oh, he stops, he moves, oh I'm really not having much luck with that guy. Medium comes out, I have a speculative shot but it looks like it hits a rock. So far not a particularly spectacular game. Put some damage on that medium. And Stuart finishes him off. Four kills to two. Stuart, ugh, nope. He moves, I don't land the shot. Though if he comes around that corner, then apparently no one's gonna kill him. 
There's a whole world of shots land there, but somehow he manages to survive. So I just have some speculative shots on the basis that he might have moved down the ledge, but he hasn't, and our Stuart, 1-4, to four, picks up the kill on him. Our Sexton really is obsessed with people spotting, and um, he really needs to just, you know, take a break. Take a chill pill. Relax. Five kills, plays three. Um, and so we're just sitting here in our bush. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so that you don't get bored. We lose our priest. And someone was saying, oh, team's a bunch of noobs, and I point out, it's a tier 3 game. Most of these guys have probably played about 20 games of World of Tanks. Anyway, I get bored, and so it's time to relocate. Our team is currently losing 5 kills to 6. Now I decide to go to that location that, if you've seen me play this map before, you probably would have been expecting from the start. Someone should scout, and so I'm going to be a scout tank destroyer. Remember, scouting's a role, not a tank class. And, ooh, cheeky UE57. Sneaky little blighter. He runs straight into a wreck in front of him, but that's not going to do him any favours, unfortunately. One shot into him, second shot should kill him. There we go. The UE57 really doesn't get much health, as it is a dinky little toy. M3 Stuart for kill number three. And the scoreline is now even at seven kills apiece. Panzer 1C off in the distance, but I don't have a shot on him. So, mountain goating around here. See if I can put in some crossfire. but no one is, as of yet, spotted. Now, this match was played in patch 9.5. That was before the view range nerf to a load of tank destroyers. And so I still have a pretty overpowered view range when I played this game. I don't know what the view range on this thing got nerfed to. I think, uh, as I play this game, it stands at something like 380 or something stupid. I can't actually remember off the top of my head, but enough to be a little too good. Or very good. Just being a little bit patient because my armour is made of fairy wings. M2 medium is up above me. We just lost our Marder 2 to the enemy artillery. Who's now on three kills, so well done to him. That T57. And if memory serves, eventually I'm just going to get bored with this. And move forwards. Cautiously, but move forwards nonetheless. Next bush location. Binos up, camo net up. Just keep an eye on that medium tank to our right hand side. Can we see anything? Not so much. Well, Locust takes out that M2 medium, leaving the score line even at 8 kills apiece. And, oh, there's that Panzer 1C. Do I actually have a shot on this fellow? Or is he just behind housing? Nah, he's behind housing. Right, screw this. Let's do some moving. Panzer 1C takes out our Sexton. No idea how the Sexton was close enough to be shot by that. Oh, apparently he got frustrated and decided to go spotting himself. Sometimes, in many situations, it is better to be thought an idiot than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. Right. Eight plays 9, or 8 kills to 9. We know that Panzer 1C is down there somewhere. Enemy artillery, one of them has just been sighted. There's the T-57. We just lost our Locust to the enemy Marder. And now it's 8-10. It's not looking so hot. So, just to speed this up a little bit. Because games on this map can be rather long-winded. Panzer 1C finally shows himself, and I managed to start working him over with the great rate of fire of this 57mm gun. Enemy armor is 
and one or two shots more should polish him off. One more shot. Ah, uh, someone else picks up the kill. That's fine. And we've also nailed their Chiha. And that just leaves four of them remaining. So I decide now to go on the offensive, climb up this um, embankment, and say good job to the Stuart. He's done... He, he's, he's been an effective player. Which is always nice to see. So, all of the enemy team is now spotted. I'm going to put in fire from a different direction into them. Five There's that T-57, who's currently on three kills. That takes off most of his health. That one misses. That one also misses. Damn you! There's the SU-18. And there's the Marda also down there. And Chiha somewhere. Oh, there's the Marder. Okay, they're both around the other side of that building. There's the T-57. wonder where the Chiha is. Oh, well, never mind. So we're just going to close in on these fellows. While they're busy dealing with the T-46, hello Mr. T-57, I will get my man, and there's the Marder. One shot into him, and he's dead. That just leaves the Chiha. Not sure exactly where he is. But I just decide to drive around the cap circle for a bit, just to make sure that we get this win. Because, you know, we're generally speaking on relatively low health, this could still be a loss. There we go. Game over. And the enemy was actually lost in battle, so presumably he either didn't load up at the beginning or was AFK all game. But that would seem a little bit unusual because we checked his spawn point. So, I don't know. I don't know exactly where he was. Anyway, that was the game with two minutes left on the clock. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that game, and that pair of games. If you did, please feel free to catch some of my other videos and or subscribe to my channel. And I wish you very happy hunting on that battlefield. Ciao, ciao.